Welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and your friends so together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Acts chapter 12 verse 5. The church went into a season of intense intercession asking God to free him. King Herod was inciting the persecution of the church. He had Jacob beheaded and had Peter arrested and thrown into prison. To ensure Peter remained in prison, he assigned 16 soldiers to watch over him. There was two guards chained to him. Guards were stationed outside of the cell Peter was in. Herod thought he could keep Peter in chains and in prison. The church did the best thing for Peter. They did not plan a prison escape. They came together to pray. Their prayer was intense and specific. They prayed for Peter to be freed. There are people we know and have heard of who are in bondage for, this, for their faith. Some like Peter was arrested and put in prison for teaching others about Jesus. Some are in bondage because of the sin in their life. Others are in prison from sickness. When the church comes together and prays together, people are set free from their prisons so they can teach the name of Jesus. Prayers bring people out of the bondage of sin. Praying together, people are healed. Come together and pray for those who are in bondage so they can be rescued and given freedom so they can, can tell others about Jesus. Lord, I just pray right now that somehow people will come together even in this time of pandemic, for two years now, people have been separated. We know when we come together in prayer, there is power. You hear our prayers that many are in agreement of. and you send angels to rescue them. I pray right now that the saints and believers will come together in intense prayer groups, praying for the sick, for healing, praying for those that are in bondage, of sin and pray for those who have been persecuted or are being persecuted for their faith. I pray that you will set people free so they can tell others what you have done, what Jesus has done in their life and how that they have been set free. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity right now. If you never asked for Jesus to, to save you, to come into your life, to do so right now. And pray the prayer of salvation with me. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died 
on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer sincerely, believing that Jesus is God, and having faith that He will save you from your sins and give you eternal life, He is now part of you, He is in you. I ask you to continue to pray to Him, pray to the Father for you to continue to grow and have a relationship with the Father and the Son, and Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to lead you in the life that God wants you to live, pure, holy, and sinless. And along with praying to read and study the Word of God, the Bible, so we know what God wants us to live as and to follow what He says in His Word without knowing what Jesus has told us, what God has told us, we cannot live the life we ought to live. I thank you and I want to encourage you right now to read the Bible and to pray daily. Spend time in prayer and the Word. Thank you, and God bless you.